stopping climate change. No. Now the White House says blocking the sun might be the answer, but what would mm. that look like? This is <laughs> Interesting. Boy, Take it. I, I tell you, when I first started reading this article, it was like I just started diving in, and then it was like offshoot articles and this and that. So let's talk about this. On October 13th, the White House announced it was funding <clears throat> a five-year research plan with about uh, something called geoengineering specifically solar radiation management to artificially modify the Earth's climate. This comes off some studies back in the 1800s. Bear with me here. In 1816, in April, mm -hmm. the Tambora volcano erupted in Indonesia with such force mm -hmm. that it resulted in something called the year without the summer. I'm not sure if you've ever heard that term before. No, I haven't. Back in 1816, the year without a summer, because after that volcanic eruption, the temperature of the earth dropped 5.4 degrees. Okay? Really? Yeah, there was a lot of loss of life, there was a lot of loss of crops and everything. But moving forward, what scientists did, they started to measure this and they said, wait a minute. So the particulates in the aerosols from volcanoes mm -hmm. actually blotted out the sun. So that's where this study is coming from. What they want to do <laughs> is basically block out the sun with, by spraying aerosols into the stratosphere to reflect sunlight, just as, say, a volcano would do if a volcano was to erupt violently. So the, Na the United Nations is on board. They've recognized the potential of this, but there are so many critics that also say, wait a minute, time out you could cause even more of a problem by experimenting with this. Seems well, like you've got a question, go ahead. No, my, my question is, how do you study this okay. without doing it? So here, here's the way, it, it, they didn't go too much into the article about this except for this. Here's what's gonna happen. And it, it, they'll start in a laboratory, obviously a, a laboratory. Sulfur dioxide, other particulates, things that come out of volcanoes, they're gonna take those and they're going to try and find a way to block some of the sunlight out gets and push it back out into space once they can do that in a controlled laboratory my i would expect them to try it somewhere on this earth away from everybody just to kind of see what it's doing to the reflectivity of the sunshine to be honest with you though here are some of the potential problems you could have what if it works and you have a button and you can press these aerosols to come and go what if you dip the temperatures too low things die what if it intensifies weather events, an unforeseen consequence? There's so many different things. Also, geoengineering, they've shown on studies, it also helps spread diseases. So there are a potential, a lot of negative impacts to putting these aerosols up in the stratosphere. But here's my attitude. Five years of research, let's get the pluses, let's get the minuses, yeah. and then move forward if we can, or just scrap it, you know what I mean? Listen, if it's not going straight out there, they're going right. to research this for five years. They're going to figure this out. And what they're saying is, is that they aim to answer all the questions that you would have or I would have, pluses okay. and minuses, before anything happens from there. Okay. But it's a start. It's a study. Okay. I think it's putting a Band-Aid on a bigger problem, but we'll talk about it in five years. All right. All right, then. Thank you. Yeah.